Ooh. Oh, hey guys, sorry I didn't see you there. I was just uh, getting in a few reps before I started this video because today we're here on the channel doing a dumbbell review. So today's video is all about the dumbbells that we have in our home gym currently. If you have not watched our home gym tour, which I posted last week, I'll leave a link right here. You guys should go check it out. But in that video, you would have seen our little rack with our dumbbells. Um, right now we have five pounds through 40 pounds in five pound increments. All of them are the cap dumbbells, which are sold in Walmart, minus the five pounders, which we got from Rogue. So let me explain to you guys how we ended up with these dumbbells. Uh, back when the COVID pandemic started and gym started closing, I freaked out like a lot of people. I had no gym equipment at home, minus like a couple, you know, leg bands, but no weights. So I raced to Walmart. I'm thinking I'm just gonna find like a five or 10 pound set. Like I didn't even know if Walmart had weights. I get there and I'm very surprised because they have these very nice looking hex dumbbells. Like these look like what I have at my commercial gym. I'm thinking, who knew the Walmart carried weights? But back to the story. Most of the weight at that point was gone, but I was able to secure a set of 10 pounds and a set of 20 pounds. And let me tell you guys, those saved me. Those literally saved me for the few months that our gyms were closed here in Wyoming. Fast forward to November when we very foolishly decided to build a home gym. And we're trying to figure out what dumbbells to put into our gym. There's so many different kinds, so many different brands. You know, do we go with Rogue? Do we go with Rep? Do we get an adjustable pair? I happened to see a lady on Facebook who is selling a small weight rack for 10 bucks. It fit from five pounds to 40 pounds. And so we put our weights on there. We decided that getting the five pounds to 40 pounds would be a really great starting point for our home gym and would give us the necessary weights that we needed for accessory work. We just slowly started buying the dumbbells from Walmart. Sometimes we had to wait for them to get back in stock because everyone's buying those dumbbells too. At the end of the day, we have really liked these dumbbells. We thought that they were a really good price, a really good deal. This is where the catch comes. I got online to try to see what the prices were for these dumbbells. The prices online are significantly higher than what they have been in store, at least from my experience. Now, I've been buying these dumbbells for the last eight months sporadically. I would say that they're usually a dollar and some change per pound, which is pretty reasonable. Plus, you're not paying shipping costs. They're right there in your town. You go pick them up. You can do it increment by increment, paycheck by paycheck, however you, know, you want to buy them versus having to take that big expense right there in the beginning to get a full set of dumbbells. Enough of the story of how we got these dumbbells. Let's actually get into the dumbbells themselves. Okay guys, I'm just holding one of the 10 pounds. This is actually from my, one of the first sets that I bought. So this is the 10 pound. As you can see, it has nice big lettering on the outside. The ones at Walmart actually don't even say cap. They just say the weight. Um, I wasn't even sure what the brand was when I purchased them until I went back and I had to check because nowhere on these dumbbells does it say cap. It's a very like unbranded dumbbell, which I actually prefer. I actually like that. The knurling, I would say is actually pretty good. Um, it's a little slick, even though it looks knurled, I would say um, it has a pretty good grip. Is it the best knurling, like the highest quality? No, and I kind of figured that out after we got our set from Rogue, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I'll just give you a close up of the knurling. And so it has the main strip down the middle, two smaller strips, and then it just has a really nice handle. Some dumbbells have that straight handle. I personally don't like that straight handle versus this one. I feel like my hand grips it better with the design that this has, but that's my preference. I just think it's a good design. Okay, now I'm holding the five pound set. This is the one set that we bought from Rogue. Uh, so if you look at the numbering, 
It looks a little bit different than the cap dumbbells. Not super noticeable, but if you're comparing them side by side, you definitely see the difference. It's like a different style font that they use for the stamp. And then if you look at the handle, it's actually very similar, pretty much almost identical to the cap dumbbells. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference. I would say the knurling is a little heavier, um, a little grippier than the cap dumbbell, but the same kind of style, you have your big middle section, two smaller, and then it's kind of that um, oval shape handle so that your uh, palm grips it better, in my opinion. They too are unbranded, these ones. I think Rogue has a pair that says Rogue on one side and the number of the pounds on the other. This one does not. This one's just like the cap, it's unbranded. You would not know what this brand was if you just happen to see this lying on a sidewalk somewhere. I really don't notice the difference in the knurling for the Rogue versus the cap. I think that the cap ones have sufficient knurling. Uh, if you really had an issue, you could always add a little bit of chalk on your hands, um, but I haven't noticed it. I would say the only other complaint I have about these dumbbells is that the rubber on the outer portion tends to kind of get dented or if you rest it on something it indents into the rubber and those indents don't always come out. I'll insert a clip of one. Um, that dent has been there. I can't even remember what we said on it but it's been there forever. It's not coming out. One other issue we have had with these dumbbells is that we were buying them when we could get them so sometimes there would be like 130 in stock or 135 and we'd have to just purchase one and then purchase the other. We did that and on one, only one set of dumbbells did we come across this, but on our set of 30s, the knurling is slightly different from one to the other. One is a little bit thicker, grippier, and the other one, it just feels slightly different. Um, none of the other dumbbells have this issue. I'm not really sure what happened there. Hey guys, I just realized as I'm editing this video that my ending didn't turn out the way I wanted it to from the other day, so I'm back here on a different day filming a new ending. In conclusion, I have really loved the set of dumbbells that we have. These cap dumbbells have worked out great for us. The weight variety has been good for our gym. Um, maybe in the future we'll end up upgrading or getting something different, maybe an adjustable set, uh, but for now this is perfect for our home gym. The pros of this set, I think, are the fact that they are good quality at a reasonable price. You don't have to pay for shipping costs, so that does end up saving you quite a bit of money. You can find them in your local Walmart, so they're easily accessible. And really, I have no complaints about these weights. I would say the only con for this weight set, at least at the moment, is that you can only get up to 40 pounds, at least here in our Walmart. For a lot of people, I know that 40 pounds would not be a sufficient enough weight. And then when you look to get a higher weight online, they are extremely expensive. So at that point, it, I think it would make more sense to go with a brand like Rogue or Rep or an adjustable set or whatever. Since you watched this video, maybe you found it helpful. Maybe you're now considering purchasing these dumbbells or maybe you've decided that this is not something that would work for you. Either way, I hope you got some information out of this video. Let me know guys in the comments below what kind of dumbbells you use, um, what brand, if you use adjustable, if you use um, like the round dumbbells versus the hex, and what your experience has been. I really enjoy your comments and talking with you guys over my last few videos, so keep the comments coming. Subscribe to the channel if you have liked this content and you want to see future content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!